Operators are special symbols that perform specific operations on one, two or three operands and return the result. And Java provides us with a wide range of operators. We can divide all the Java operators into the following groups. Arithmetic operators, relational operators, bitwise operators, logical operators, assignment operators and ternary operator. Let's take a look at each one of these one by one. Arithmetic operators in Java are used to perform mathematical operations. So we have addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, modulus and unary operators. The first four operators are exactly similar to everyday mathematics. Modulus operator is used to find the remainder. For example, 25 modulus 4 gives 1 as the output is 1 when 25 is divided by 4. There are two unary operators prefix and postfix for each addition and subtraction. These simply increment and decrement the value by 1. So for example, 25 plus plus will result in 26 or minus minus 21 will result in 20. The relational operators compare two values and give the result as true or false. And this is the list of relational operators. Bitwise operators work on bits and perform bit by bit operation. For example, if we have two variables a and b, the AND operation will work on the bits and give the output as shown. Logical operators operate on boolean values and give a boolean output in return. That is true or false. Then we have a broad range of assignment operators that perform the operation on the variable as well as assign the result to the variable. And here is the list of all assignment operators. And finally, ternary operator, also known as conditional operator. This operator consists of three operands and is used to evaluate Boolean expressions. The goal of the operator is to decide which value should be assigned to the variable. And the syntax is variable x, expression, and depending on the value of the expression, whether it's true or false, the right value is printed. So we saw different types of operators here. And in the next video, let's see what variables how we use variables to store all these values that we work on.